a pub described as by locals as Rice Lane's only pleasant feature is facing demolition under a controversial development. The popular plough in is set to be knocked down under plans to erect a 40 bedroom hotel at the site, despite the planning application attracting over 100 objections. Neighbours have described the 19th century building as a historic landmark, which is much loved by the community and said replacing it with a hotel would be an act of vandalism. One resident described the pub as one of the only good things about Rice Lane, while others said it would ruin the heritage of the area and represent a significant loss to the community. Councillors Anne O'Byrne and Richard McClendon have also raised objections to the proposal, while the Victorian Society said it would add to the permanent erosion of Liverpool's rich but dwindling 19th century architectural heritage. Other residents questioned the need for a hotel in Rice Lane, which is on the outskirts of the city centre in Walton, and said it was unwanted. Others said a hotel adjacent to the schools would cause trouble, adding that the transient nature of business and clientele associated with the hotel would have an adverse effect on the local community. But despite a long list of objections, planning officers have recommended that the plans be approved following a site visit next week. If approved, the applicant will have three years to begin the demolition of the pub, which is a popular venue for birthdays and weddings, and start the development. The case report said the hotel plans would fit with City Council policies policies to maintain and enhance the role of local centres in order to provide a range of shopping and other services and facilities to serve local everyday needs. Defending the application, the report adds a substantial number of objections have been received which raise concern with the loss of the original building. While the building has pleasing features and appears to hold sentimental value for many local residents, it's not listed, locally or nationally, and is not afforded any protection through conservation area designations. As such, the local planning authority have limited control over its retention.